What's going on guys, Real Fishing TV here. Today we're going to be doing a Guggen Bait review. I got three different Guggen Bait uh, soft plastic styles. I got the uh, Slim Shake Worm, the Crack and Craw, and the Dragon Drop. So most of these I got in about the same color pattern. Uh, I got the Slim Shake in Green Pumpkin, Crack and Craw in Alabama Craw, and the Dragon Drop in Sunset Bug. Which are all based on the natural color presentation, which I really like. So first things first, take a look at the packaging itself. You got your little Slim Shake Worm up there in the top right corner. You got the logo, the Guggen logo in the bottom left, right there. Go ahead and flip your package around and you got all the details of the worm itself. You guys can see all this stuff, give you a quick little glance of it all. So these are six and a half inches long. And these also come in a nine pack. So looking at the worm itself, it is really soft and it's got some weight to it, which is really good for Texas rigging and stuff. I really like my worms to have like a soft texture, but yeah, heavy enough to throw and sink somewhat fast. So it's got like the tapered uh, fat tail or whatever you want to call it. And then you got all the little grooves and everything in there. So I tried picking out a couple soft plastics I have in my tackle box to kind of go along. This right here is a Gary Moto worm teamed up with like a, the Daiwa bait or company, Daiwa company. And basically this is just a Nico worm. Got this at Dick's. I actually got all these at Dick's. So basically still got the tapered uh, tail which means it kind of slims down and then thickens back up. Sorry about the light, you guys. As you guys can see, they're, just, they're, they're the same length. If I can get these guys to pull up next to each other. This is a little skinnier. This is the uh, Gary Morto and Daiwa. And then this is the Guggen. So, yeah. I really do like these Guggen baits so far. I haven't really thrown any yet, but the weight and everything feels really nice. All the texture on them is really good. So I really like that about their baits. Moving on, we're going to go to the Dragon Drop. So here's the front of the Dragon Drop packaging. It's got the Guggen logo in the bottom left, as they all do. These come in a 9th pack, as well as the uh, Slim Shakes. These ones are in Sunset Bug. Here's the back of the packaging, guys. These are four inches in length. All right, so let's get right into the worm. So I really like this color, real natural color here. It's got like the, uh, almost like a green pumpkin-ish color on top. And then you got your orange on bottom. So as the last one, it's got just about the same texture as the, uh, Slim Shake, so you got your little eyes there. You also got them there. Just a little shorter version, basically, of the Slim Shake. But I've been getting into drop shotting, and I, I really enjoy it. The only thing is you just lose a lot of baits. So, yeah. So, going over the soft plastic, once again, it is soft, heavy, and it feels really good quality. It's got the Guggen right there. So, yeah, really liking your guys' bait so far. And uh, to represent or to compare, I pulled out this KBD Dream Shot in uh, Pro Neon Blue, I believe is the color. So it's got some pretty good colors on it. It's got really sensitive tail, soft plastic, and really soft plastic. And uh, it's a little lighter than the Dragon Drop. Uh, I like how the tail on Dragon Drop is uh, heavy too, so it's. Like this one feels like it's almost full float in the water, almost. So yeah, both great worms, but if I had to pick one to go fishing with, it'd definitely be the Guggen. Alright guys, so moving on to the last Guggen bait we got with us, it's a Kraken Craw. Now I don't usually throw a lot of crawfish, like flipping and pitching and stuff. So, let's look at the packaging real quick. These actually come in a pack of seven, these are an Alabama Craw. You get your logo on the bottom left once again. Flip it around, you got all your details. These are also a four inch soft plastic. 
and then let's get into the lure itself. So once again, really soft plastic, really uh, quality plastic, not cheap. You can kind of feel you're getting what you pay for. Once again, these retail for about seven bucks a pack for all these. Got some nice texture. Got the little paddle on the uh, claws right there. Catch water and stuff. Got nice legs, nice coloring on all these. Like they're all, they're not like uh, patchy like most of the cell plastics are. Once again, you get what you pay for, guys. And that goes for everything. I'm... So you got that one little rubber connector right there that you guys are going to have to peel off when you go throw this bait. But overall, once again, it feels really good. Really good quality. Really like it. So yeah, guys. Those are the Guggen baits. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I plan on doing a video probably this Thursday. I might go to uh, Gander Outdoors or Dick's and try to pick up a baitcaster setup. So we might try to film in there. We'll probably just run the chest underneath the jacket and then stick the lens out when we want to record and use our phone. So once again, guys, thank you guys for joining us. If you guys want to participate in my subscriber bait challenge, leave a comment down saying I'm interested in challenge or do hashtag bait challenge. Yeah, I do hashtag, hashtag bait challenge. And basically what this challenge is, the subscribers send me uh, fishing lures, old, new, used, it don't matter. Uh, I'll give you guys my like Snapchat or Facebook or whatever. We'll swap information and uh, send them on in the mail. And I'll be doing a lot of challenges this summer uh, while bass fishing. While using you guys' baits. So thank you guys for watching once again. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Peace.